Jamal, aka Nana Man, and this is the problematic, problematic safe place. Hey, it's your boy Darnell, and this is another week of talking greasy. What's up, Kim? Oh shit, I'm by myself. Uh, we got <laughs> we got a uh, Kim had to handle some stuff, so your boy got it. But luckily, your boy got some help. Uh, let's uh, introduce our, our uh, problematic guest first. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, introduce hey. yourself, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, it's AGK Jamal. <laughs> and it's your boy Nana, man. Oh, problematic safe place. Hey, man, uh, they've been rocking with us, so we showing the love back. But uh, we got some ladies in the building. Could you please introduce yourself? My name is Jasmine Blue. I am BJ the Blogger. Hey, man, we appreciate everybody who came through because uh today you know i've been i've been i i I figured out something today i was on uh youtube and they had this video uh called uh texting or dating in 2018 with this uh very funny hilarious thing and it really made me realize i'm addicted to my cell phone and i really don't like it like i legit i legit will answer my phone regardless what i'm doing i could be i could be i I could be uh, driving somewhere. I could be getting to a fight. I could uh, have a uh, doing something with a young lady. I need to answer my phone. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so you guys, I just about to answer your phone. Yo, you be smashing and picking your phone up? I'm like, yeah. No, nigga, you. Hey, wow. There's mid-stroke. Are these women calling you back? I mean, yeah. I mean, once I handle this other call, yes. Nah, uh-uh. If a nigga pick up a phone while we smashing, I'm getting picking my stuff up and that's how you know that's how you know the pussy's trash they answer the phone during sex like no it can't be the pussy because he does it regularly so the dick is trash it don't got nothing to do with the pussy see y'all will always say it's the dick y'all will always say it's the pussy so it doesn't matter if you no one wants to take no ownership then it's not me it's you females take absolutely I gotta I gotta agree with jazz zero accountability in sex in sexual matters Said. And you know what? And you know what? Whoa, hold your, put your guns away. No. Uh -huh. that, 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 that's just a tidbit. But but a question, <laughs> but bringing that up, the question of the week. We didn't uh, have time to uh, ask the crowd, but don't worry. We'll give you enough uh, replay next week to join in the conversation. Which one do you love doing more, texting or calling? Me? You got to call me. Cause that's the only way I'ma answer, and I already told you I'll answer the phone call during everything. Oh my God. So uh, it's it's phone call for me. What about you, EJ? What, what? Man, preferably if I have to choose, it has to be texting. But the thing with me, I hate leisurely texts and small talk. Fucking hate small talk. It's I'm, like I'm here with you. I'm yeah, I'm the same way. I'm just like whenever I get that that fucking hey text. When I get hey, man, that gives a motherfucker anxiety, man. Because I'm like <laughs> seriously, bro. Because uh, people say I'm on the spectrum, low key. I don't know. But like, <laughs> like I would agree like, with that. Uh, like, Wait, what uh, spectrum? The, the, the autistic. Mm -hmm. Autistic. Oh, okay. Like, There's no, a couple okay. spectrums. You're right. Now. Yeah, you're, you're right. right. You're right. Thank you. Please Cause, clarify. Cause the way I am, please I need. <laughs> I, I need like I I believe like the phone texting and calls should just be used for me just to make plans okay, okay. and Definitely. I give you my time but I hate just talking about bullshit over you, the phone you know yeah. what I gotta <laughs> I gotta confirm this to me and EJ we have been cool for years we'll be in the middle of conversation all right nigga this conversation over <laughs> 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 he was legit do that we used to be like oh this shit get bored man I'll talk to you <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. which I respect because you know other people they always they don't never just end the conversation yeah, they they just just that's why I don't <laughs> like talking on the phone because not everyone one knows how to end the conversation that's what i'm right. saying true yeah. true e even if and you, you don't want to be rude right and i mean hang up okay. on them. so yeah, you so, so, so you so you a texter yeah. yeah i think i'm a texter because i'm a writer and okay. so same it's easier okay. for yeah. me to yeah. express everything <sighs> that i want to mm -hmm. say mm -hmm. in text but that can get me in trouble sometimes too. yeah because mm -hmm. you got this long 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 yeah. long line of blue i can i'm just texting agree. my life away yeah sometimes it deserve a phone call but if i had yeah. to choose i'm texting someone before you I know call what them. yeah you know what before i ask a nana man and, and bj i hate text because i hate like some not some but not all mm -hmm. some girls want to text you this bible uh verse and then want to reply uh -huh. me i'm petty if you write me a paragraph i'm writing k and I'm moving out with my life. You're a whole ass bro. You know that. You can't. Hey, hit him with the K. Hey, that's so That's so 2005. You can at least hit him with an emoji. So shit. Nigga K. Hey, I'm problematic. I am curious, though. If a girl sends you a long paragraph, are you going to read the whole thing? Or are you going to skim and do like. Listen, I'm going to read the first part. And so the, and no. the bottom part that's and and, no. and answer and er, and answer the first part <laughs> and like if you be like hey are we chilling today mm -hmm. and how you feeling I'll be like I feel okay 
and then like leave it at that. Mm-hmm. Like, See, I, yeah. the thing is, I know some women who uh, you text them, but they take off their delivery messages. You know, so if you got an iPhone and you Who usually can that? see, seen those things are a real spectacle to me. Okay, well, is that uh, important to well, you? Mm-hmm. Being able to uh, know that she read your text message? Yes, nah. yes. Why I, is that important? It is because it's a, no, 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 no. Keep that, keep that same energy. <laughs> if let's say you text a dude something serious or you expressing your feelings and you just see the scene thing that he seen it but he didn't answer it and he just leaves. But see, it like that's that. what I'm saying. I honestly, personally think that people leave. Read receipts Well before I turned mine on I have mine on But before I used to think That people leave red receipts on Because they're being petty Like oh mm-hmm. okay Me reading it is a reply mm-hmm. but Some Drake shit Yeah exactly <laughs> But to me honestly I don't care if you read it or not Like I feel like Either your silence is a reply Or like you I just expect a reply But me knowing when you read it Don't make a difference it's Right like, I, I agree with fine. BJ Just because Sometimes it t- it's I expect people to take time with their mm-hmm. messages, and if you if you are too quick to reply, and I've spent all this time, mm-hmm. and I'm pissed or or I'm passionate about whatever it is, and you are quick to reply, that mean that makes me feel like you didn't actually read it. Yeah, it, I did. It, it could depend on right. the time of day, what activity <laughs> is going on as right. well. Exactly. So, it, so it's like don't, I need that you'll get back mm-hmm. to me later. Well, I would prefer that over a K or an emoji yeah. or a no response at yeah. all. Well, well. You you do mm-hmm. a lot of uh, working out and you personal train. Yeah. So do you get a lot of text messages and do you stop the workout to answer or you let it go? Oh man, I get so many text messages. Uh, you know, I train and I work at this company and they, you blow up my phone. So uh, I get distracted. Sometimes I forget to text. Sometimes I will text you two days afterwards, just out of respect. Like it's forty eight hours. Dang, I forgot to reply. I was busy. But I prefer calling. Mm-hmm. Um, so Thank I know you. most Thank of uh, me and Darnell, we prefer calling. Actually, I prefer FaceTime because I'm a very animated person, so I want to see my facial expression. Some new nigga shit, man. Yeah. So, so, okay. Okay. Nah, nah, nah. That's some. That's some. I want to see myself. Six yeah. Yeah. seven days. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody ever looks at the other person. They always look at themselves. See, when y'all are talking about replying, see, with me is you will get a quick reply. If you if you just cut the bullshit and just go get straight to the point, like what you need, yeah. Okay, like if you just say like, "Hey, what's been up?" or honestly, and I feel like an asshole, but it, you you might not get a reply for two weeks. Some of you are thinking, "All right, what the fuck am I supposed to say to you this?" You know what? Blah, blah, blah. But if you, you know but, what? But yeah. if you I'm just, the same way. but if you just send, mm-hmm. hey, if time. you send me the link to this restaurant, send me the link. Hey, let's be very perfect example. Record. Yeah, you free on Saturday. Let's record. All right, bet. Here I am, you know. But See, like, let me know. Know. I think it's, it's just I think whoa, 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 whoa. Let, let, let BJ get it. Yeah, I think it. I think it just depends. Like when it comes to like business, uh-huh. absolutely. D- I'm not. I'm gonna be like, what do you want? Like, well, see, that's my what life. Yeah. Exactly. Well, no, I'm. I agree. My business is my life too. But I also have a personal life when it comes to like my friends mm-hmm. and the people, like the guys that I date. So like when I'm dating, of course I want to have a regular conversation. Mm-hmm. So like I don't mind going through like text t- me. Well, like I like you said, Jasmine. Like I'm a I'm a writer also. So mm-hmm. I I'm better at texting than I am at talking on the phone because i get so distracted oh so, yeah like, I, see, I, i'm a writer well, well you see, you already heard how distracted i am so i mean yeah like, definitely but y'all are writers nobody has time for all of that you know because i'm over here working on a script doing whatever promote whatever and then like to respond Listen, and have this but, leisure no but just because text, just because i'm a writer really doesn't going, mean i'm not a multitasker but right, if i can i can write and be like doing other things at the same time doing research but if i'm on the phone exactly. with you uh-huh. then i have to Devote all of my attention to yes. what you're saying, but you know what? I like that because because a I, it's hard for me to focus. So with a phone call, I like getting in, mm-hmm. saying what I gotta say, and it's a wrap. You know how many phone calls I would have to make in a day in order to get whatever random thought across that I need to get or whatever question I would mm-hmm. have to ask people? That's a lot of phone calls. Mm-hmm. And that's wasting my free minutes. Mm-hmm. What oh. I need to listen, <laughs> I send a text mm-hmm. message while I'm thinking mm-hmm. about it. I go on to do whatever mm-hmm. else. You answer when you have the time to do it because if I try to wait and see, oh, is it a good time to call? I'm going to forget what I needed to ask yeah. you. Yeah, this is true. What, mm-hmm. But it also depends on the level of relationship you got with that person. True. Whoa! Well, yes. But you know what? You kind of uh, get into the new uh, part. Uh, you guys, if you haven't seen it in the description box, uh, we're going to uh, hop up in the feed. In this vi- uh, YouTube video, it's a short uh, video talking about the conversation between men and women <laughs> and text messaging and how crazy it gets between us. And how there's a disconnect from how men communicate to how women com- uh, m- uh, communicate. Uh, Nana, uh, what were you saying before I interrupted you, man? 
Um, now I'll just uh, tell and jazz. It also depends it, on the level of relationship you got with mm-hmm. the person, uh-huh. you know. Mm-hmm. And yeah. not everybody you want to hear their voice, you know. Right. But uh, see, my girl, like she knows, she knows how I am, and she kind of works the same way. She knows if she just texts me some bullshit, like something that's just mm-hmm. like, uh just uh, fuck. Just fucked up my nails yeah. or some shit. Yeah. She might not hear from me until a couple hours later, but she'll send me a link like to a store or some crazy shit on Instagram or a video or something. Mm-hmm. Be like, what are your thoughts? Okay? okay, you know that's how you get my attention. If you need two hundred dollars, I prefer you to just just text me right off the bat. I need two hundred. Can I have two hundred dollars rather than take me through the bullshit, mm-hmm. small talk, or, like, all that? Because then I, I feel like you, you manipulated me out of my yeah, time. Yeah, because I hate those how you been <laughs> texts. I hate those how you been texts because I feel like you about to uh, give me a wake up now promotion or something hey. or Herbalife <laughs> <laughs> promotion. I'm like, bro, <laughs> get like, to the shit, man. Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, nigga, we ain't talked since, uh, since in the road. What do you want? You like, yeah. Keep yeah. that same yeah. energy. And it's cool. It's yeah. cool. Yeah. Just tell me what you need, and I'll choose whether I yeah. want to oblige or not. So, yeah. EJ, but get straight me, to the point. EJ, let me ask you this question. How many how many text messages that you got from different people in your phone? How many right now? Yeah. yeah. So, basically, like, your your circle of relations yeah. of people. Well, like how it, many? He's, how I, many? No, he's asking, uh, is it a lot of business, a lot of personal, or a lot of uh, random, unnecessary calls? Uh, it's a lot of personal, a lot of personal okay. few business right now at this moment. Okay. Okay. Well, let me ask. The, let me ask the ladies. Cause well, where are you going with that, though? Let, 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 well, I, see where I was going with that. It just depends on like I got like through my phone right now. I got like uh, sixty unread messages because it's damn, a lot. how do you live? That would drive me. What? Cause 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 my phone is tied to my work. Me and some other man. Yeah, and, <laughs> uh, and other stuff like my phone is tied to my work. And then also I, I work people out. Clients uh, contact you work me. Work people out. Yes, I'm a trainer, a personal <laughs> right. trainer. I'm yeah. just being silly. Oh, <laughs> no, you missed that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I'm a little naive. Yeah, I feel you. I, yeah, I, I got you there, like, like, yeah. I, got you. Dang. I do be doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah, this is but, true. <laughs> but uh, but ladies, let me ask you a question. When it comes to men, uh, what do d- most of the guys who tried to holler at you in the past, where do they slip up in, as far as communication, text messages, or calls? Where do they normally slip up? Wait, slip up? Yeah, like what are they not doing right as far as communication? For me, um, having a steady or reliable form of communication is important to me. Mm-hmm. Because I'm a conversationalist, I like I like to have conversations. I mm-hmm. like to get to know people. Mm-hmm. So when you start hitting me with the WID, or you yeah. start hitting, if me you oh send me God. what you doing five times in a day, Yo. I'm deleting. <sighs> you. I'm, you're blocked and reported as spam immediately. Thank you. Like, I just I just can't. Because you, 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 you never talk I, about. You know what? That's what, and that's just you one know what? red flag. You know what? But that's me. That's why I call because I I want what what you doing to death. But mm-hmm. my uh, text conversations be dry as fuck. But and, you and, don't mm-hmm. know what I'm in the middle of doing, and you just decide without asking me if you can call me. And I had in the brief stint that I was single, I had this guy call me in the middle of like me cooking or something like that, or I was mm-hmm. talking to another guy. Cause you know, I'm just trying yeah, to get you're to dating. know people. Yeah, I'm jug- dating. Yeah. Juggling yeah. niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, yeah. That's, 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 that's a nigga coming. I see you girl. I don't want to be a player no more. Anyway, so if I'm busy and I'm doing something and I'm entertaining someone else and you just up and out of sight of the blue decide to call me, one, you didn't ask me if it was okay to call. You don't know what I'm up to. Exactly. Second, True. what are we gonna talk about? But but <laughs> that's so yo. Uh-oh. But you know what? That's perfect though. I don't call some girls sleeping off of a phone call. See, I, I I that's I have. if that's not your girl, she not slipping. Yeah. But, hey, mm. it is what it is. Yeah, right? yeah that right. is fact. But, but let me ask you this question, Jazz. But yeah. you just ta- you just talked about texting to get in to get to know someone. Mm-hmm. But he calling. He's trying to do the same thing. He's trying to get to know you, right? Yeah, and, okay. if, and so everybody just, has different it's just modes. The level okay. of relationship that so, you have with that person. So let me give you a little more backstory. Okay. okay. So this is someone that I met on SoulSwipe because apparently this is hey. what I'm SoulSwipe. 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 Yes. Soul yeah. Soul yeah. Soul yeah. Soul I'm Black swipe. Tinder. No. So, me? Okay. Do you know dating nobody? <laughs> I feel, I don't know. I didn't know what I was doing. I was in a relation, a, pretty much a constant relationship for like mm-hmm. eleven years. So I'm just like, oh, I don't wow. Know how to do yeah, this. you're oh, new to dating. Wow. I'm new. Damn, so, you always playing the game, LeBron. I am <laughs> boot up. Damn, perpetually boot <laughs> eleven up. years. So, so what so happened bad. was, this was someone who, 
Um, I gave my number to uh-huh. him, and mm-hmm. we had been messaging on the app, and then I gave him my number, and the texts just weren't there. And so if you're not engaging me when I give give you my number for texting, yeah. what gives you the comfortability to just call me out of the blue? See, I know what he was trying to do. The conversation's not actually there. Yeah. I know what he was trying to do, and I get your side of it, because I feel like it's intrusive as hell, too, which is it crazy is. these days. It is. very intrusive. Hey, hold on, 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 I know it, but I get what he was trying to do. What he's trying to do is he's trying to differentiate himself from the West of the fuck niggas that send the WID text. He is a fuck so, nigga because he's not. Oh, wow. <laughs> if you're they not talking about, about, about it, they're they're right? Right? no, talk but, about but it. we have to call a spade a spade. If a guy is not engaging in conversation with you on a regular basis, at least that's how I feel. I have friends that don't mm-hmm. want to talk to niggas every day, but right. for me, like if I'm if I'm interested in you, then I want to hear from you every day. And if you're not gonna at least make me a part of your day on a regular basis then don't call that's me that's oh, you know what? Yo, 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 yo. no no yo. i no i think i think she's right cuz i lost a couple of females cuz i text like uh, once every once and a half a week like yeah, it'll be like not, yeah okay. no yeah, the, you're not, not okay. going to keep the, my yeah. interest like, like that's not okay so why do you need that constant thank constant you thank we you. Need reassurance to know that you're actually interested in getting to know who we are it's interested, I mean, but listen, dude, there's a yeah. life listen, too so you can have i'm telling you that if i'm entertaining a conversation with you via Text, that I'm making time for you, uh-huh. that yeah. you're interesting to me, and that I want to continue to get to know you. Okay, you, you know, you know what? talk to dudes with kids, by the way. My ex, yeah. what had a kid? Your yeah. ex had a kid. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and I don't have kids, so I don't know. But I'm assuming when you're in the kid's life, okay, you're that that takes up a lot of time. What? I mean, do y'all how do y'all ladies feel about a dude who has very good, you know, who has some obligations and needs to fulfill, I mean, you and he hits you, you up when he can. Communicate that. You have those obligations. Yeah. Don't have me thinking that you're not busy when, in fact, you really are. That's part of communi- communication. And then you got a kid, you got obligations. Let me know that so yeah, I, I mean, can respect yeah, your and time. I mean, also, like, if you can't even make enough time to, like, call me for 10 minutes a day or text me for 20 minutes a day, do you, you know? even have time for a girl in your life? Whoa, whoa, exactly. BJ, BJ, mm-hmm. let, me, let me combat that. What if I don't have nothing to talk about? Every day. Thank that, you. That, that, Wait, that's no, valid. because it because so because like like my life my life is sporadic. Like mm-hmm. a lot of weird shit happen. Like uh, I'll just be chilling one day. Next minute, um, I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff for the podcast. Next minute, I'm getting shot at. Next minute, mm-hmm. it's a whole bunch of other stuff. Getting yeah. yeah. shot at. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean I explain that. that. That's true. I mean, yeah, it just way. like You're treacherous. Like, like just, I mean, I don't. Trayway. Like, what if I don't? What if for a whole week <laughs> straight nothing happened? But what, what, what do we talk okay, about? What do we build are, on? Okay, why are you? You have to think about why you're communicating with this person. What yes. is your purpose? What is your intention behind this? If you are trying to date someone, mm-hmm. it has to be a constant form of communication. You cannot just dip out for a week and then come See, back I and think y- that that person's still going to be interested. I heard y'all say well, though actually, that something about being a priority though. Yeah. You may be a priority, but you're not the priority, especially when y'all are dating at the moment. Yeah. Okay. No okay. commitment. You shouldn't expect to be his number one. The life. That's not what I mean by number one. Even 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 it's about being intentional with your time. Okay. And then going off with Darnell. Oh, go ahead, Darn. Well, ahead. what I'm saying is, even if you are my girl, my wife, or whatever, if it's not an emergency, I'm not gonna just like blow you up or, or have a small talk about nothing conversation. I feel you. See, yeah. I'm the same Cause, way. Because we already understand that women need more, on average, need more conversation than men. Let me ask you a question. So these people that you're dating or that you're talking to or whatever, mm-hmm. no matter what is going on during your day, do they ever cross your mind? Yes. Okay, that's a simple text message. Hey, I was thinking about you. I hope you, you're having a good day. I okay. hope you're doing yeah. cool. But that, that okay. showing that this per like that you're thinking about this person, I mean, even I, if you don't have anything. But to who talk is about, that good for though? Is that thank does you. that benefit you it's or for, him? It's to communicate. I, I can't read your mind. I mean, exactly. it, but, no, I it's a question. Who does it benefit it, though? Is exactly. that better for him exactly. or does that work for you? Yeah, because that doesn't. That being doesn't. Okay, open like, and vulnerable. Listen, to you. Right. Like, like if I say because I'll, and yeah, because from my perspective, okay, yeah. I've actually had this problem with my girl a lot of times. I'm the type of guy I don't need to communicate with you every day, and I'm in a long distance relationship too, which you know. I get where she's coming from, but I don't need to talk to you every day to know that we have a relationship or we're together or how I feel I about think, you. And that's what yeah, friendship but that is. Is. But I realize though, she needs that. Just like what y'all are saying, she needs that reassurance or that. Because I feel like men, the, our, basically our communication styles can be something like this. Women, y'all communicate to connect. Men, we communicate 
mainly for information purposes. Listen, the only reason, the only reason, the only reason I uh, call is if we're handling business, I'm handling ass, or something's wrong. Yeah. Like, so, uh, mm-hmm. it normally, it normally uh, falls in one of those three. Like, hey, baby, are we going to church? Hey, are we going to link up? Hey, you feeling good? Hey, uh, you still going to do that thing to me today? Like, mm-hmm. like, <laughs> it, uh, <laughs> like it, I, I keep the conversation to a minimum. Like, Who I, asked that, that in text messages? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like I, I be, I be, te- I be texting yeah. like I'm a drug dealer and I'm not. Like, I be yeah. like, okay, yeah. what you need? So I have, what I have a question. <laughs> so what... What value are these women that you're dating bringing into your life if you don't? No, <laughs> I mean, a, no, a, that, no, a, it's, no, 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 it's no, a legit no, that, question. Fair, because, fair, no, fair. I'm asking because, I yes. mean, like, besides getting ass from these women, like, to me, mm-hmm. when I'm inside of a relationship, I'm looking for a man that I see as, like, my best friend, as somebody mm-hmm. that I want to be around and talk to on a regular basis. So, if I... If somebody is like my best friend, somebody I care about, somebody I connect with, I yeah. can't imagine going a long period of time without wanting to well, speak to them. Well, well, let's, well, well, let's, well, let's, well, let's flip that. Uh, we're men. Like I mm-hmm. have, I can have those. Uh, I, I can have those meaningful, deep care about you uh, moments, but that don't mean I have to talk to you all the time. And then also. Uh, let's let's get the elephant out the room. Mm. A lot of women ain't likable like that for me to want you to uh, want to hear from your mouth every, <laughs> every day. Why? Why, why are, are you dating women you don't who like? Aren't likable. That's he already true. told you. I don't why don't he he I mean, already went through this. Yeah. Let, let me. I mean, listen. <laughs> nah, I don't, listen. I don't get it. I don't to get smash. it. Well, to <laughs> smash. That's what he said. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. And though. not These all the women bringing... he's talking to, he's dating. You okay, that's what I'm saying. So are we talking about women so you're dating? Oh, 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 Sometimes oh, 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 the relationship hey, is platonic. Time out, yeah, time time out everybody. Jasmine got it. Okay, so if you are dealing with women that you're just ha- casually having sex with, do they know that that is their position in your life and that you are not seeking any type of further relationship with them? Well, on average, um, majority of women know that what I want is what I want. Like, if I say, hey, listen, I'm, I'm scared of relationships, but I really want to build with you. That's I, no, I, I, I'll say that. How that's can you be shit. scared of a relationship that you want to build? Hey, 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 but that's Mr. Fuck Niggity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. hey, here's, here's you the thing, though. Most of the time, Fuck niggas man. let y'all know right off the bat they ain't shit. Niggas will tell you straight up, I ain't shit. He did and not y'all just would be say so that. Bitch. That's what I'm saying. No, that's what I'm saying. But I'm what? saying it doesn't matter. Guys will tell y'all their intentions, but for some reason, y'all will still try to change them. Okay. And be disappointed. Okay. Time out. Let's go. We're Let's doing go. a lot of generalizing men and women. Yeah. And I yeah, think that we are. What we're doing. When it comes to communication, we have to recognize what's healthy and what's not. And if you, if you're continuing to say that's just how men are, mm-hmm. that's not healthy. That's yeah, but, not that, healthy. but you're oh, right. Oh, but no, healthy no, no, communication. No, no, no. So you, so healthy you, communication but, is subjective. Thank you. Healthy. But what okay. you, you said the goals of communication. No, no, I said healthy communication is subjective. Healthy communication, my me healthy communication for me could be three times a week. You said and you and BJ said okay. every day. T- okay, time out. Mm-hmm. Healthy communication is dependent on the the people who are communicating, right? Uh-huh. right? So you need to express to the person that you're talking to what you expect and what you plan to contribute. If you just go off the bat and not even give people th- that time or that that. Your energy. That space, that energy to know that this is how I'm going to communicate with you, mm-hmm. then that's fucked up and that's unhealthy. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I mean by healthy communication is being upfront and honest from the jump. Yeah, Say, what hey, your intentions are. I like to text or I like to take phone calls. Mm-hmm. I'm busy. This is how often I'll actually have to talk with you. You know, those types of things. You have to be adult and mature enough to say, hey, this is what I'm actually able to give you at the moment. Whoa. And then give someone a chance to decide whether or not they want that. Whoa, you mm. just brought up a good okay. a good point that we're going to uh, get back on after this break on Talking Greasy. All right, guys, we back. Uh, we had to uh, clear out the room real quick, you know, just breathe a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> clear out the end. I'm good. Time. Educate your mom is straight, man. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey. We talked about text messaging. We talked about communication relationships. And we got, we're, it's 2018. We have the privilege to talk to anybody on the planet. We can, uh, there's so many different ways we can communicate with somebody. It's ridiculous. But with that being said, I feel like 
communicating with people in general just got a little bit harder. Do you feel that way, uh, Jazz, in any form or fashion? Because I feel well, like... I, feel I think we talk a lot to people. We don't communicate a lot because communication requires vulnerability. It requires maturity and openness. Hmm. And we just not there yet. Uh, your Our technology allows us to hide behind a screen and hide our intentions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, when I was listening to you, I was thinking of my reply instead of fully giving you exactly. 100% my, inten Hello. my attention. Hello. 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 Which, 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 unfortunately, <laughs> which, unfortunately, you know, I hate that I'm like that because, you know, I've, I'm very... The reason why I made Talking Grease is because we can have tough conversations in a funny setting, but I just, like just like I said, it's hard for me to kind of get in that vulnerable space or that or that stance where I can pull all my beliefs back and just have the conversation, mm -hmm. uh, dive into somebody and make something fulfilling between uh, me and whoever I'm talking to. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, works with the women I date, with some some of the business I do, and I'm kind of seeing it spill over. And I'm trying to figure out uh, where do we get lost in communication? What like what what made us so distant yet so connected, uh, BJ? Oh, man, I just think it it depends. Like what what you mean by like who are we communicating with, right? If we're talking about dating, honestly, I think we lost touch when it comes to like letting people know what your intentions are yeah. from the gate. Like if, if you're not being upfront and honest about like what your intentions are with like our relationship, then I, you can be saying one thing to me and I'll, I'll read it one way and you are, you mean something completely different. Like before earlier, you were like that you are afraid of relationships. Right. Mm -hmm. And you said that you, you tell girls, yeah, I'm afraid of relationships commitment, but I'm willing to build with you. But obviously, that's not what your intention is. You have no intentions of building that's anything. So <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean it, what are you it's building? more like, about renting. You know uh, about uh, renting. We're, 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 no way. We're, we're gonna no build and get way. in the walls. Mm -hmm. But I mean, like, but see, but my thing is like, I'm tear down walls. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. god. Yeah, that's what you're trying to build, <laughs> right? Yeah. Build build it. You're in the demolition oh industry is what it is. Gracious. You're not but, trying to build, you're trying to demolish. But see the thing <laughs> is, like if you are in are upfront and honest with the women that you're mm -hmm. dating, you may just meet another woman that is not interested in having a relationship at all. And then you guys can just it's, it means nothing if you get herpes. I mean Wait, what? 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 Oh, wow. You got that here. Is, that yeah. escalated wow. really fast. Okay, that, that, that's, that's not even that's not breezy or problematic. I'm just, whoa. I'm just saying. Oh, like, put the gun away. Hey, that's you're, you're talking. You're, you're, you're talking about hit. So you basically you're just saying, hey, the, the girls that are just open about it, and a lot of them, I don't know, if, a lot of them that are just promoting themselves. I don't know if that's what you want. Listen, um, listen. No, 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 Darnell, no, 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 yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And my thing is, how I'm, do we get here? <laughs> what I'm how so? Cool. Instagram will do it to you. Instagram hey, listen, will do it to let's, you. Let's get back to communication. When it comes, I will, I will, mm -hmm. I will trust a woman or or anybody who tells me what's fucked up about them, and then I can make a decision where I want to be in that environment or right. not. Because are I, you that open and honest with people from yeah, the jump? Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, pff, you have no idea. Okay. <laughs> but like so, I've I've, date, I've dated girls who just kept it 100 me listen nigga I'm a hoe I'm out here you know I'm fucking these niggas but I still want to give you some from time to time I, I do respect not, that I don't believe I, I don't believe there's that. any woman that's like oh I'm a hoe um, like I don't oh uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, I can't Ooh, I, I don't quiet for the word. most part uh, because I I don't I really uh, don't date and I like the last girlfriend I had was in high school um that's not I, dating. Okay, so you can say that too. That that was not dating, but yeah, play, play. um, you you you'll be surprised. Most of the women I meet is it, on site. It's sometimes, but it's on so site. there's a difference between a woman proclaiming I'm a hoe and a woman being open about her sexuality. Well, that's, well, that's good. Agreed. Well, that's good. That's good communication. Because even even if you say, "Listen, I'm just out here. I'm single. What's gonna happen is gonna happen." Or like mm, you I said, it. or like you said, yeah. "Hey, I'm sexually free. Please don't get attached to me because this is just fun." Yeah, and exactly. I'm, so what I'm saying, I think. I'm echoing BJ is that yes. if you are upfront and honest with people, yes. then you will find someone who can be as upfront and honest with exactly. you. But if you find someone who is not really one way or the other, yeah. you think they're leaning more towards a relationship and you're stringing them on knowing that you don't want a relationship, then that's unhealthy. Exactly. You know what? Okay. 
I, I feel you. And you know what? It's even ten times worse because nowadays with text messages, mm -hmm. boy, that's like yeah, that's like a that's like a transcript. Yeah. You can yeah. go from "Hey, I miss you, I love you, let's hang" mm -hmm. to "Who who who this? How you doing?" Like it's it, yeah. it's it's really crazy how people can hide behind yeah. uh, social we media and text messages. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, ladies, y'all, because I know cause I know a girl will, will pour her heart out to me, and I'll be like. I'll send an emoji or LOL. But would she have felt path, comfortable man. enough to pour her <laughs> Listen, heart out to you? EJ, yeah. how did she EJ, say? EJ yeah. you know how this savage was born. So yeah. you can't savage act like life. you. Darnell, mm -hmm. listen. Wait. If y'all are both on the same page from Jump, mm -hmm. then where is the disconnect, comfort in? Yeah. yeah, where's the disconnect And now that they're pouring their heart out to you if they know what's up from the beginning? Are you entertaining people who are not on the same page as you? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he is. That's what it sounds like. That's, that's the only reason it, why. It, huh? Huh? Are you? <laughs> Sir, we need wait, man. We wait. We need an answer right now. Man, I mean, intervention. I mean, <laughs> well, to be honest, to be honest with you, sometimes it starts out with me being very into them, very. Uh, and uh, you know, willing to give them a chance, but then uh, halfway in between, uh, I remember uh, past her, past uh, to uh, toxic nature, a chance I, at a relationship. You yeah, mean. and I okay. kind of with uh, withdraw myself emotionally from them. Unhealthy, and, and then I, you and then, and then I kind of keep them around just for the time being, and then they slowly fade away. That's yeah. unhealthy. Mm -hmm. I didn't say I it was. Tell, yeah. Listen, mm -hmm. I'm letting you know when I was out here on the scene, Texas. Talking to people, I say, okay, look, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm not looking for. The minute that you decide that you starting to like me or that you have feelings uh -huh. for me, I mm -hmm. need to know that so we can talk about well, that. Well, like well that. Jazz, like well, jazz that's right. not fair. Uh -huh. That's yeah. not fair. Yeah. You, don't, yeah. you don't never be single alone. You like LeBron. Like, as soon as okay. you're a free agent, Three you Three months was up. a really long you time for me. Okay, Stop I it. did a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> did, you just, did you just hear that? Three months? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're both, we, we both got toxic nature over here. What? How is that toxic? Always be in a relationship. That's not toxic. That's not toxic. She's just a good catch. That's what I'm saying. I mean, well, you are a well, I mean, hey, yo, you can argue. But she's married. I'm not yo, married. You're not serial, married? No, yo, okay. serial monogamy <laughs> is not healthy. First of all, I did not say I was monogamous. Second of all, I just said that I feel comfortable being in relationships. Uh -huh. okay. I like the companionship. But when I was out here dating and I was single and I was not in a relationship, mm -hmm. I said, this is what it is. I'm trying to get to know people. I'm not trying to fuck off the jump. But if we mm -hmm. are getting to know each other and you decide that mm -hmm. you start to have feelings for me, yeah. let's talk about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to lead nobody on. So you know did, what? Did, did, did you know any what? of the guys ever that. have feelings for you? Yes. Okay. And then what did what was the result of that? So we had a conversation. Mm -hmm. We were talking about it. And I was like, you know, I don't see this really going where I would want it to go. And so I stopped talking to the person. Okay, well, well, let's, well, let's, uh, let's help Fair. the, let's help the people out. Okay, because you said I'm being toxic, which hey, I agree. I said unhealthy. Okay. I didn't say you're being untoxic. No, nah, I'm you're, saying it. You being toxic. <laughs> you're, thank you, thank you, BJ. You're welcome. Your thank you for putting me on blast. Unhealthy. <laughs> but you know what? But that's let's, all I was saying. But let's, well, well, let's, well, let's. I'm all about solutions here. Okay. Let's, let's get into the healthy realm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're, we're just uh, talking. We're gonna ask the fellas. We're gonna ask the ladies. What's up? Okay, mm -hmm. EJ. Yeah. Here's the scenario. Uh -huh. You're interested in a girl, uh -huh. but you you like to text the way you like to text. A woman. How do okay. you a, a, yeah, woman, a woman? A woman. A woman. Yeah. But uh, how do you how do you <laughs> toxic femininity? I need a drink. Okay, y'all ain't got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you you have to come back, uh, BJ, for another oh, episode. Good. Sorry. But sorry. hey, how do you uh, initiate a conversation knowing hey? I'm busy with a career, uh -huh. but you want companionship, but you want a girl that's, that doesn't get attached fast, but you want her company. How do I say it? Yeah, without without sending mixed signals. Just For like real, that. bro. I, exactly. I would say it just like that. Now, I wouldn't have the conversation over text. It'll be a time where I'm saying, hey, let's meet up somewhere. When we talk, it'll come up in conversation. I would say it'll it just, just come up. I will, I will bring it up. I'm, that, that sounds fucked up, but that's how I am. Like I'm bad with bullshitting. That's why I kind of expect that in return from people, which I know isn't realistic, but no. I'm a straight to the point kind of guy. So I would I say that I feel like there's certain things, there's just no way to say it, other way to say it than just to say it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh BJ, just, I got a scenario for you. Okay, what's that? Uh you've been in a relationship, but it's time to end it. You're gonna end it on phone, text, or in person. Mm. It depends on how violent uh, mm -hmm. the nigga <laughs> is because good pussy makes nigga crazy. That's true. Uh, facts. 
Oh, hey, I got to agree with I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. I've, had, I've had niggas want to choke me out before, so. Oh, hey. Loki, BJ, BJ, no disrespect. I feel like you like getting choked a little bit. I do. Thank mm-hmm. you. Okay. It's about okay. appropriate okay. timing. It's appropriate timing, you know. And it okay. It's okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Jasmine, here go your scenario. Okay. Okay. Yeah, a, yeah, um, yeah, a guy pours his heart out to you, mm-hmm. but you're not feeling him. Text in person or or uh, in order. Um, how does he pour his heart out to me? He said, Jasmine, listen, you the most, uh, is he, imp- yeah, oh, I'm saying, how is he communicating? Uh, okay. With me? Y'all, y'all just dating. He's commuting. He's communicated through text. He said, listen, Jasmine, I know we been dating. I know you, uh, messing with other guys, but I think you're the most beautiful, intelligent, uh, uh, smart per- woman I've ever met. And mm-hmm. I want to invest in you mm-hmm. and I really want this to work out, but you don't feel the same. How, how are you going to end it through the same text messages uh, through the phone or in person? If I'm being honest, if he's pouring his heart out to me via text message, I would probably respond via text message. But mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, because I wouldn't, I don't want to come off as cold because that's not me. I am. I would. And, okay. <laughs> that's your truth. You live your yeah. truth. That's yeah. nothing wrong yeah. with that. Oh that's nothing wrong with that. But I would, I would ask if we could talk about it in person. Mm-hmm. You would? Be, yeah, I, I thought you that. said you. I thought you said you were responding that. in text. What I'm saying in text, I would respond. Can Which we makes, talk about this in person? Oh, okay, that's okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I thought you were like, let's I'll kick it back the same medium that they gave it to you. I'm cool no, with that. No, no. Too. And, I, I feel like not all conversations are good via text, or, especially yeah. when someone's really pouring their heart out. I need to be able to look at you face mm-hmm. to face and be like, okay, I respect oh, that. Work, work. Yeah, oh, I respect you that. you yeah. you better uh, than me. I'll hit you with the subscriber you have called. Oh shit. Oh, hey, you're so shady. <laughs> what, what part of toxic don't you understand? But anyway, like, mm-hmm. uh, hey, Nana man, mm-hmm. here's a perfect scenario for you. Mm-hmm. You've uh, you uh, been having a friends with benefits relationship with this uh, girl, mm-hmm. and she hits mm-hmm. you, and you've been doing this for four months straight. Great yeah. sex, great conversations, great outings. Yeah, and then she hits you with the. I want to take this relationship to the next level. Do you answer phone, text, or in person, or you ignore? <laughs> uh, me personally, you know, it, it it happens all the time, and I just give him a call. <laughs> uh, Wait a minute! And, 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 and I'm mad about this. I mean, no, it happens all the time. All the time. <laughs> now, as far they as the outing, no. Uh, oh, hey, from if, three you, months, if you uh, listen to the uh, Paul man, Max Say Place, I got a lot of feelings on there. Okay? Listen, man, ain't mm-hmm. nothing worse than uh mm-hmm. than a uh, uh a number you done deleted uh, hitting you back with some feelings. That That is the worst. Uh, I love you. How are they telling you? I love you. you. 2, 1, 4, 3, 8, 9, uh, 7, 8. Yeah, but I'm I, the iPhone will tell you who it is, though. Yeah. Yeah. They'll be like, uh, maybe. Messy ass iPhones. Yeah. Hey, hey, y'all, do y'all ever play the 21 questions to figure out who texts you if you don't know who texts you or you just flat out ask? Because me, I do 21 questions. I just oh, ask yeah, who I it is. I don't have time this. for games right yeah, now. Yeah. I need to know who I'm talking to. Games is what I do. You play some New Year. New Year, who this? Hey, you if, stay in the game. If there, if if playing games was where has a, that gotten a, you? If playing games was a sport, I'll be John Madden. Yeah, where has that gotten you? <laughs> With the layup. It's mad. That's your question, though. Because <laughs> <LA. laughs> y'all want to ask again? Uh, ask again. What was the question? Where where, where has that gotten you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you in the same fucking spot because you keep doing the <laughs> same shit. It. Insanity. You he, might. he needs to go to therapy. <laughs> yeah. That's what he needs to do. Everybody yeah. needs to go to we therapy. We all. I, right I, I totally Everybody. agree. I totally give you the agree. I yeah. give you the name yeah. of my therapist if you want. Hey, She's cool. a nice lady. Hey, I need yeah. too. Yeah, everybody I support mental health. health. No, seriously, everybody on a serious note, I do support mental health. So yeah, definitely that, that's agree. definitely cool. Yeah. Well, speaking of uh, wait, no, yes, <laughs> <cool. laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, next. It's next. cool that you yeah, fucked yeah, up, yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I like what? being fucked up. My question is, y'all get emotionally here. unavailable. Anybody married in here? Because <laughs> we seem like are anybody married? Anybody? I'm married? in a relationship you, now. I'm not married. You're in a relationship now. Yes. Uh, BJ. I have uh, a boyfriend. You have a boyfriend. Uh, Darnell. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> no. And my boy EJ. You already know. Five year relationship. Hey, man. How sweet. I don't know, That's man. That's what out. I'm saying. Hey. What? Wait. How, how, how long you been hey. with your dude? We've been together for about two weeks, so okay. it's very, it's oh, very, very okay. new. It's okay. Very new. So, okay. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you. Oh, but, but, okay, here go the next one. This is perfect for you. Y'all been together three years. How do you bring up the let's get married conversation? Jesus Text, Christ. 
phone call or in person? In person. I hope three years we've mm-hmm. been we've been dating. already talking about. Yeah, it. I would hope we have had this what? conversation before. I would not. Jazz, but come on, no. you've been in long term relationships. Wait, I, long I, I, talk about, I talk about what I want from the jump. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. I mean, but in them long term relationships, wasn't all of them married? Um, like let's get married. Were they? You no, know, yeah, they were. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, that didn't work out. I don't. Yeah, yeah that was, I mean, because me, yeah. I could be in a relationship five years and we just dating. Yeah. I could do that. I need that to is, know where this that's is going. Such a waste of time. <laughs> that waste of time. Well, I think women look at it differently because we have like an internal clock. Yeah. Like we, yeah. it's, this is it's, true. It's, yeah. We have a certain amount of time mm-hmm. before it's like, all right, my eggs ain't gonna be good, but for so much longer. So it's like, I mean. I'm not going to waste two, three, four, five years of my life with a guy that has no intentions of being married to me. Listen, waste your time all 2018. Stop it. No. Stop no. the no. no. now. Stop it right keep, now. Keep leading the on. Keep cursing. No, my no. God. Stop it. I stop it. And okay. I, I feel like you See? do this just for the shock factor. Uh, <laughs> you, I really you hope would, this is not real. You would think, but. Yeah. He really ain't shit. <laughs> Like he's telling you who he is. He's you well, say no, like, why admit, why would you accept me? I can admit to my ain't shit qualities. I have tendencies that are ain't shit, and I can admit yeah. to that. I think everybody but, has trash behavior. Yeah, we absolutely yeah. do. But when it comes to marriage, I think that a lot of us don't really understand what that means, right? So society is going to tell us, oh, you want this big fancy wedding and you want your bridal party and you want all the gifts and you want the honeymoon, but ain't nobody actually out here talking about marriage. And so that is the biggest thing for me. I'm talking about from day one, this is how I want my marriage. This is how I want to communicate. This Mm -hmm. is how I want to resolve conflicts. I want to have kids. I want to have businesses. You have to be vulnerable enough in these relationships and in these interactions with these people mm-hmm. that you are spending a chapter of your life with. Your I mean, time is precious. I mean, you need to be intentional I mean, with I mean, your time. I mean, true, but we just said that people hide behind these text messages. People hide behind come these out, phone calls. get out, baby. people, people get out, out the closet. Stop people, hiding. No, Stop people hiding. hide behind anything that reveals them, their true self. That's just how we got to stop do. being so scared about feelings and we have to be become comfortable in flourishing in our vulnerability. And once I started doing that, even. being transparent, mm-hmm. that goes back to my post. And I was so surprised about how much feedback that we got. Like I mm-hmm. was I was just blown away and amazed. But yeah. When you realize who you are and how flawed you are, but you're still perfect just the way that you are, mm-hmm. and you realize that there's so many other people who are going through the same things that you're going through, mm-hmm. you benefit from being vulnerable and being yourself. Like, I don't have time to look at everybody's highlight reel and think that everybody's perfect and then get down on my life because my life ain't shit or yeah. it's not yeah. going the direction that I want it to go in. Mm-hmm. Be vulnerable. You only live once. Why would you hide it and be fake? Be who you fucking Thank are. I mean, yeah, but I mean, you only live once, but this is a a tough life and how many people can and on average in your life and then I'm gonna ask another question Mm -hmm. can you uh, really be vulnerable with that's not a trait that you give every person hell sometimes unfortunately that trait may not even be for family if I I feel like I cannot be vulnerable with someone then they don't have a position in my life yeah Yeah, I totally agree I totally agree I have to be able to be raw okay okay well let's well let's uh Switch over a little bit. Okay. Okay. We are gonna ask the ladies mm-hmm. and we are gonna ask the dudes this. Mm-hmm. How do you how do you curve how do you curve somebody? Uh, <laughs> we not my, curving. No, no no. Women curve. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Jasmine, you it's ain't gonna so tell me your right. inbox yeah, Jasmine, don't got no curve. What, what are we calling it? Okay. Mm-hmm. It's not don't curving. do me like that. Yeah. I, I don't I don't curve people. I ask people what their intentions are, and if there are married men in my inbox, I tell them I'm going to friend your wife. She is going to know who I am, and if this conversation goes sideways, if this conversation goes sideways, she will know <laughs> about it. Jasmine, I'm not playing no Jasmine, 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 first thing first, what I'm not gonna let you do mm-hmm. is say that black men cheat. That's what I'm not gonna do. That's what I'm not gonna do. You're not right. I'm faithful. Man, I'm faithful. So what about what about Jay Z and Kevin Hart? Well, those are those are not representation. I mean, they're definitely not representation. They're victims of their biology. They, but yes. Thank you. Oh, no. They're oh, victims of their you biology. are not whoa, going whoa, whoa, whoa. to be Let's victims bring it down. Are we going to go Jasmine to and then EJ. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's bring it down. Okay. So, mm-hmm. if we really going to talk about biology. Let's talk about it. 
Yes, men and women have a different biological makeup, but we also have to understand that uh, monogamy isn't something that is natural to everybody, men mm -hmm. and women included. Mm -hmm. And so you can't just say, I'm a slave to my biology, so I'm going to fuck on all these hoes, and you just going to have to be okay with it. I'm right. you, have to be, you have to be mature enough to say, hey, if I'm in this relationship, I'm in it. If I don't want to be in it, I'm not in it. If you're not monogamous, stop putting yourself in monogamous, monogamous positions. Okay, Come yeah, on. I told, okay, I, now, I now <laughs> what I will say in full transparency, mm -hmm. although I am not monogamous, I am choosing to be in a monogamous relationship. I'm a polyamorous person. Mm -hmm. And that's just how, that's how I feel best expressing myself. But I am choosing. You're amazing, Jess. I'm choosing to forego this one aspect of my life to give my all and build with someone who is monogamous. And I find that that's something beautiful. Can the, you do that? Well, yes, but I'm doing it now. But, but, but for how long? But, We've been doing this for nine months. So. Nine but, months. but you know what, yeah. Jazz, I'm going to ask you, I'm okay. ask you this impressive. and then I'm going to get back to the fellas. Sure. Ain't that being selfish to yourself? If you know, yes. if you know you're well, like this, okay. and you're in a situation where you know that's let's not talk your about natural, discipline. I'm afraid let's you're talk break about this man's heart. No, let's not even go there. Why Man. would you? God forbid. Don't, don't put the energy out. Don't Listen, put the energy out. So, we need to talk about discipline, and we need to talk about maturity levels. Mm -hmm. I don't have to give in to every craving that I have. Mm -hmm. I don't have to do that. Just because I have an urge for something doesn't mean I have to act on it. Mm -hmm. That's that's discipline. That is owning yourself and not being a victim to your biology or mm -hmm. not being a victim to your own mindset. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, Nana, man, let me ask you a <laughs> Oh, okay. Let me ask <laughs> you <laughs> talk. Drop, drop the mic. Hey, Nana, man, man okay, let's keep, let's keep uh, the energy high. Okay. How do, you, how do you curve a girl and keep her feelings in mind? Because uh, I feel like you've done this. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, I'm just stop very. Stop trying to spare feelings. Yeah, I'm just very invasive, you know. I'm just, sorry. Uh, she'll, she'll, she'll figure it out, you know. She'll see my feet with other women. So she'll she'll figure it out. That's unhealthy. Yeah. Yeah. She'll yeah. figure it out. Hey, hey, what about yeah. being open and honest and communicating with people? If you're not feeling her, you got to let her know that straight up. Yeah. Hey, EJ, uh, uh, not on, before you get the box, but EJ, what's up? What's up? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, EJ, let's keep it let's keep it real. You're in a relationship, so I know uh -huh. you getting hoes. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> no, black men don't cheat. Okay. Yeah, I'm not black black men don't whatever. Hey, I'm just whatever. Whatever. I'm gonna say this again. Uh, whatever. Faithful black as fuck men. Twitter. Listen, okay. Black men don't cheat till infinity. Discipline. Okay. Stop okay? It. But like I was Stop saying, EJ, now that you're in a long distance relationship uh -huh. and you're trying to stay faithful, how do you curve these women and communicate that uh, respectfully and keep their feelings in mind? I don't. I just <laughs> no no I'm playing I'm playing now seriously uh, I just say oh I got it I, I think you're beautiful if it if it applies and <laughs> <laughs> you better if it applies you and ain't no wrong with that ain't no wrong with that I'm but, not mad at that but I'm in a relationship and then they'll ask oh what's your uh, add me on Facebook and I, I do oblige and maybe I shouldn't I don't know if that if I cross the line. I, I give him the Facebook. Listen, <laughs> but listen, it's not cheating until something go into something. That's what I. Wait a no, minute. I'm out. <laughs> that's real. That's what I'm no, saying. I it's not cheating. Black men don't cheat. Till, once see, again, you say that, body parts touch something. Yeah, you say that shit until Everybody your girl does. go out for coffee with some nigga. You exactly. Say that. exactly. Or you or you or you get a right. Exactly. Hey, or keep, it, keep that same energy. Or you get a or you get a phone call that that show uh that your girls at the movie with a nigga. Shit. Or, but but or you be told though, have friends? But hell no. Uh, uh, listen, told though, listen, her, oh, uh, listen, her, girl, friend, her friends oh. are the father, the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit. What, hey. <laughs> like, what time my girl, she told me she shared, what time my girl, she, she went out with her friends, and it was like when she was uh, at this new school, and she shared a drink with this guy, and it was a gay guy too. But even still, I didn't give a fuck. She was like, why are you tripping? This is my friend, so-and-so, and you know um, that he's gay. Why? I'm like, he had a dick, right? Why you got to be you so don't insecure? Trust her? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, why are you with somebody you don't trust? Why you got to be so insecure? Yeah, no, 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 no. Like it's not about... Uh, no, it's not insecurity. It's nothing about... I don't... It's not that you I don't... You said he got a dick. No, listen. It's not... What does that, what does I'm that about matter? To, I'm about to tell you. Okay. It's not that I don't trust her. It's that it's just disrespectful. You my girl, but you out here sharing the drink with another guy. Have you expressed that there are certain things that you find disrespectful? To be, yes, but to be honest, we didn't cover that one. So okay. it was. So you're right. So, so can you be mad? Yeah. I no, we let it. We we talked about it, and I was like, hey, we never talked about it. So and to my knowledge, has never happened again. Now, granted, 
I've done some things too where she's, you know, I had to kick me under the table a few times, you know what I'm talking about. So yeah. we, it's a learning it's curve. You learn as you go. I don't mm-hmm. I don't but think relationships are healthy where you feel like you have to control like little things like that. I think right. that's like a real like yeah. small thing to I, I, how I, long I, you been I in a relationship. Agree with you. I know this might sound probably. This relationship has been two weeks. My previous two, relationship man, get out of here. Two well, weeks. Well, okay. that's not the only relationship <laughs> I've been in in my life. life. I was I was married before. So oh. Whoa. Like, really? Oh. Yeah, I was Drop. married. Okay. Wow, I was in a relationship up. for six years. The insecurity. Oh, so I, did, did. I, So why did it? Never mind. That's not no, y'all. I was about to ask it. Does insecurity? No, no. The insecurity play a part in your relationship? No, insecurity was not an issue. Uh, we just became different people. You know, we oh, got okay. together when, when I was seventeen. Mm. Oh, we wow. broke up when I was twenty four. Mm. So that's a lot you know, of growth that's, and it's a lot of growth. So oh, yeah, the definitely. person, the people that we were when we got together, we were two completely different people. Absolutely. I got yeah. you. Um, at course. the end, so mm. yeah. Dang man, yeah. Now you back out here? Well, hey. not really, really, but well, no. I I was, <laughs> yeah. I was single for for a year, and, mm. and I met a really good guy. So. That's good. Oh, there you go. Good, Black men good. don't cheat. Once again, no, no, cheat. right? And women Stop don't right? to like that. Yeah, right. But anyway, <laughs> uh, we we getting we getting towards the end of the show. But let's uh to to kind of round it off. When we talk about communication, mm-hmm. what is it that makes relationship talking? To our significant other that much harder. It feels like I can talk to my homeboy. I can mm-hmm. talk to everybody else a little bit better than the person I'm dating. Like, what is that energy? Like, what is that confusion? Because I, me personally, just like BJ said, if we're not that cool to where I can just talk to you and I can be myself, I don't have to alter myself to be around you. Mm-hmm. But that's rare by itself. Mm-hmm. What you're asking for is kind of rare on, on the, like, how do we, how do we just break that ice to be free and to have that deep conversation with somebody. Because even though once you get past the vulnerability, Mm -hmm. you have to understand the way you work to illustrate that to another person so they know how to deal with you. Mm -hmm. And you might be uh, willing and open, but if you don't know you or you're not in Mm -hmm. tune with illustrating you, like how do you, how do you break that barrier? So that way, your partner can be your best friend. Yeah. And y'all can't have that dope conversations yeah. and always when stuff get tough, you can say it and mm-hmm. not feel weird about it. I think you have to foster that environment. It has to be fostered like right. an environment, no judgment, no condemnation. Like, hey, you can be yourself. Mm-hmm. You're going to have to let it. Uh, we're all human beings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, what about you, EJ? How do you how do you break that barrier? Because me, I, my thing mm-hmm. is I can be open with you. Like, I do it on this show all the time. Mm-hmm. And I, I open up all the time, but as far uh-huh. as making that connection, I can't do it. Uh-huh. Me personally, I'm, I'm probably gonna die not connecting with an, another person like that on that level. Don't yeah. so, on yourself. Uh-huh. Don't. So that's how I'm, that's how I'm going out. We gotta start so, thinking positive. So how, hey. so how do you good energy out put there. out the so, good energy? Yeah. So how do you, so how would you keep that line of communication and openness and and very open environment for your relationship? How do you keep that going, especially long distance? Uh, well, how it started, she saw my porn history. <laughs> and that right there opened the door for a lot of questions. Okay, it opened the door for a lot of questions. It opened the door for a lot of questions. I mean, was it really... unusual stuff? That's why she was questioning it? I mean, it depends what you consider unusual. Oh, okay? Unusual like, is okay. Okay. Some people that's aren't comfortable like, with their partners doing that. And I'm not, it's not an issue, but mm-hmm. it, it, you really learn a lot about a person when you look at their porn history and Google search it. So, but, uh, Wait, really, how do you do that? What? <laughs> we'll whoa, get you whoa, after the okay, show. Okay, okay, granted. Yeah. Need tactics. Granted, granted. She granted. got a new boyfriend. She didn't <laughs> she did check the Granted, bag. this uh-uh. is before <laughs> Face ID and Touch ID. We've been in this for five years. This is like the first, you know, year in the relationship. But anyway, like, seriously, though, I don't know. We, she, we, we're just very upfront type people. We're very direct. You okay. know, we never, and we both suck at small talk. So it's like everything that we've asked, like the way that we're chopping it up right now yeah. and getting on each other's skin or getting these true feelings out, that was us from the very beginning. So she knows where I stand. I know where she stands. I feel like I don't have to pull, pull, uh, I ain't going to say I don't have to pull any punches. You have to be a little tactful. Mm. A uh, little, you have to be a little tactful. I, but, yeah, you, you're right because I'm not. But see, I think that goes what you all were saying about that's the difference between yeah. when you're communicating with your friends yeah. and then your significant other. Cause with you, bro, I don't feel like I have to be tactful, man. Like, nah, let it go. <laughs> you know, but yeah, when it's when, when it's your your girl. But um, yeah, just be real from the jump. Hey, well, well, what ab- about uh, you, BJ? You've uh, you gotten through uh, all these transitions. You were you were single for the year. 
uh, clearly you got past the vulnerable stage. Uh, how did you reconnect again and want to date again? Oh, man. <laughs> uh, I think it, wanting to date again came from just finding myself. And because you lose yourself when you're in a relationship for such a long time, you lose yourself. And like after I got to a point where I felt like I was whole again, like I knew the things that I wanted to do with my time and what my, when I've reprioritized everything, after that I felt comfortable dating again and meeting new people. Mm -hmm. And I think you kind of just get to that stage from, um, like I said before, like when I go to dating and, and meeting someone, I'm intentionally trying to meet my best friend. Yeah. So like if it it just go, comes from conversation and then after a while you just kind of go, you know, I'm going to start to trust you. Yeah. I feel you. I, I know what you mean. Because yeah, nobody ever says this and now I'm going to get to jazz. Mm-hmm. You can meet your soulmate while you're with somebody else. You or you can, can, or yeah, it's or, possible. That's and that, that y'all shit ain't be, shit. Yeah. Well, no, we have. <laughs> listen, True. there's a difference between True. soulmates and there's a difference between life partners, and yeah. we're gonna have more than one soulmate during. Wait, 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 wait. So I like this. Idea. So, yeah. What do you mean? Clarify, like you you, elaborate. Yeah, yeah. Clarify that. A then soulmate. I gotta go ahead and break it down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sometimes I'm a little bad on this. So a soulmate is someone who you have an undeniable connection with, uh-huh. and mm-hmm. it doesn't have to be romantic. Mm-hmm. It is just someone who. You share this energy, you share the spark with them, and you know y'all can do all kinds of things together. A mm-hmm. life partner is someone who you cho- choose to go through certain chapters in your life, certain transitions in your life with this person. Mm-hmm. So I would prefer to call my partner my life partner because I have more than one soulmate, and soulmates could be best friends. They could be well, soulmate should be your pops or your brother. No, <laughs> that's what some no. Stop. Okay, uh, no. Uh, well, Jazz, uh, yes. I'm gonna give you the last question, then we are gonna wrap this thing up. Okay. Um, with with you with you uh you know uh dating the way you dated uh, mm-hmm. uh and all that. How do you and you've done uh long distance relationships kind of right now. Yeah. How, how do you how do you handle keeping that connection and being vulnerable and uh, and taking care of yourself? Okay, so I'll answer the last part of it first, the taking care of myself. Okay, so I'm kind of like in a um, semi-long-distance relationship. So my boyfriend lives here, but he works over the road, right? Mm -hmm. And so I feel like now that I know who I am and I know what I need, that time apart is very necessary for me. Um, And so that when he's back in town, I've done all the things that I've had to do business-wise so I can give him my attention and that I'm not trying to split my attentions between... Um, other things that I have going on so we talk all the time and he's the one who actually got me over talking on the phone because I used to hate talking on the phone like I told you some Mm -hmm. people just don't know how to end the conversation Mm -hmm. yeah because he's in the truck and he's on the road like that's really the the safest way that we can actually communicate Mm -hmm. so Mm -hmm. we um we started talking about you know music and politics and books and other things that we like Mm -hmm. and we just always have something to talk about. We just share our days with each other. We don't make it a big event to text each other mm-hmm. or to call each other. We're just, you know, I can't see him. I can't go, you know, go home and he be there. I don't know what he's got going on. I don't know who he's interacted with so today. So do you require him to check in every day? There's no requirements. Would you like him to check in every day? <laughs> It's not about checking. I mean, I tell him good morning. I let him know when I made it to work so that he knows I made it safe. You know, I mean, there's no, that's the thing. We don't have to force anything. We talk to each other because we actually want to talk to each other. You know what? I feel you, but I feel like when it comes to women, if they like you or love you, there is a certain level of forcing a conversation. Uh, no, I'm the type the of person where if Wait, I force. don't have anything to say, I'm, I'm not texting because he knows that I'm working. I know that he's working. So I have it's a consideration. Oh, right. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we share things with each other. Hey, have you listened to the new J-Rock album? Hey, did you listen to this? Check this out when you have time. You know, it's it's no pressure. And you have to get to a point where you're comfortable with yourself. And you know what you got going and you know what they got going so that there is no pressure to make something work. Because if you have to put pressure on it to make it work, you really don't need to be in it. That's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I agree. Say That's that one true. more time. Yeah. Say that if one you more. have to Oop. put pressure on something to make it work, you don't need to be in it. It should be easy. Mm. If Shout that, out to the Me Too if that, yeah. Dang. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> and, and we're definitely, ended, real. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're yeah, definitely yeah, ending yeah. on that, though. Uh, once again, <laughs> um, I don't support and, none of <laughs> Educate Jamal's viewpoint or what are you idea. About? <laughs> I was agreeing with her. And, 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 and we're done. You shouldn't force it. You shouldn't be. I told are you, you done? Are you done? 
Thank you. Mm. <laughs> and I would like to thank my guests for coming in, in, in today. Uh, we're going to have a, a YouTube uh, video of this. Uh, shout out to A Problematic Safe Place for coming in for us. Shout yeah. out to fucking Talking Greasy, man. Hey. Hey. Thank you. Shout out, hey. Hey. Shout out to Kim. Kim. Hey, check it out. We but, missed you, Kim. Hey, can y'all uh, drop y'all social media? Mm. No, ladies first. Then, then the fellas, and then I'm gonna wrap this mug up. He's okay. far from a savage. <laughs> you can find <laughs> you can find me everywhere at Jasmine Blue, J A Z Z M Y N B L U, Gross Side Worldwide. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook at BJ the Blogger. I also run a second music page called At the Music Panel. And if you want to follow my blog, you can follow me at cbjblog.wordpress.com. All right. Hey, it's HK Jamal, Problematic Safe Place. Y'all can find us on uh, on Twitter, Instagram, uh, SoundCloud, We The Safe Place, or at We The Safe Place. Hey, what about YouTube? YouTube, yeah, we are on YouTube, so watch us. Just look at Problematic Safe Place. Catch our most problematic moments on, uh, on air. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Oh, you can follow me at HK Jamal on Twitter and Instagram. Nana, talk your shit, man. Hey, man. My name is Nana, man. The better half of Problematic Safe Place. <laughs> uh, you can catch me on Instagram if you like a lot of shirtless pic and motivate you to work out. Thotty, at man. N-A-N-A <laughs> underscore M-A-N-N-N. That's three N's. Once again, N-A-N-A underscore M-A-N-N-N. And you can also catch me on uh, Snapchat at N-A-N-A underscore M-A-N. Nana, man. Hey, it's your boy Darnell. Uh, if let me uh, shout out Kim's uh, social media on Instagram. It is uh, uh, Whitney Scruston. And if you are on Snapchat, it is Okra-Winfrey. And then if you would like to have any of a freelance or graphic uh, work, go to Contently You on Instagram, Twitter, and on Facebook. If you would like to uh, listen to the show, hit us up on SoundCloud, iTunes, TuneIn app, Stitcher Radio, and Google Play. And also, if you have anything uh, you want to say uh, about anything I said on this episode, you can reach me at 469 45. Okay, fuck it, don't call me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you'd like to be a guest on the show, hit us up at talkinggreasy at gmail.com. And it's your boy, Darnell Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Darnell Does It, because it ain't easy talking greasy. And I don't know how to communicate. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> sure. hey. That was good. No. That was good.